Sinusitis is an inflammation or swelling of the tissue that lines the sinuses. Normally, sinuses are filled with air, but when sinuses become blocked and filled with fluid, germs can grow and cause an infection. There are many different types of sinusitis. Sinusitis is an acute inflammation of the lining of the sinuses. It can be bacterial or viral. And um, it becomes a bigger problem when people are having recurring sinus infections, especially four times a year or more. Uh, we consider that to be recurrent acute sinusitis. And if the symptoms of sinusitis, which include cold-like symptoms like pain, pressure, discolored nasal drainage, last beyond three months uh, without a break, we consider that to be chronic sinusitis. Dr. Robert Kendall, an otolaryngologist at Cadillac Ear, Nose, and Throat Facial Plastic Surgery, says if a person is diagnosed with sinusitis, there are several treatment options to consider. Typically, as a, referring, ref, as a specialist, we see patients on referral. We also see patients that come in on their own for these problems. And um, it's our job to evaluate people and make sure that their complaints are indeed uh, sinus related, and that includes a detailed history, physical exam, and sometimes CAT scans are done to evaluate people prior to uh, coming up with a treatment plan. The best way to know whether seeing a doctor is the right next step is to be aware of what the symptoms for sinusitis are. Know the symptoms of sinusitis, which are congestion, pain around the eyes, below the eyes or above the eyes, uh, a lot of trouble breathing through the nose on a consistent basis, discolored nasal drainage or even sometimes clear nasal drainage. There may or may not be associated fever. Um, and initially, if these are short-term symptoms that are lasting less than uh, a couple of weeks, they may not require treatment. But longer than that, they very well may require treatment, even initially by a primary care doctor. Uh, but if you're having those symptoms three or four times a year, um, or if the symptoms aren't clearing with initial treatment, then uh, a referral to a near nose and throat specialist makes sense. There are several treatment options for sinusitis, from medications to sinus surgery. Another option that can be more effective than medicine and less intrusive than traditional surgery is balloon sinoplasty. So balloon sinoplasty is a minimally invasive way to treat chronic sinusitis and recurring acute sinusitis, uh, which are two of the most common reasons that people visit the doctor for sinusitis. And balloon sinoplasty, um, being minimally invasive, has uh, the advantages of being able to be done in the office. There's no downtime for people for missing work. And it's uh, basically painless, not requiring any pain medicine afterwards. And recovery is very quick. Balloon sinoplasty has been around for just over a decade and has since then become a commonly used treatment option for those with sinusitis. Over the past five to seven years, it's been commonly used in our field for treatment of uh, people who have failed uh, more conservative management, such as medications, um, and for people who don't require more invasive sinus surgery, that certainly has uh, an advantage of being able to use balloon sinoplasty because it can be done in the office and you're back to work the next day. Balloon sinoplasty is not the same as traditional sinus surgery, which Kendall says typically requires a five to seven day recovery period. Balloon sinoplasty, on the other hand, is a relatively simple treatment process. So the process for a patient that it's determined that a balloon sinoplasty would be uh, uh, indicated for a patient. The process would be still a CAT scan um, to review, identify the sinuses that would need to be opened with the balloon. And the balloon actually is inserted through the nose um, and placed near the sinus opening. And then the balloon, or, or initially a guide wire, is advanced into the sinus. And that guide wire is lighted, is, has, a, has a light on the end of it, so it illuminates the sinus, so you can see that through the skin, so you know you're in the sinus that you want to be in. And then the balloon is advanced, and it's dilated from anywhere from 5 to 7 millimeters, and that opens up the sinus, the main sinus drainage port for that, or opening for that sinus. And that allows the sinus to function more properly. 
Not everyone suffering from sinusitis qualifies for balloon sinoplasty. However, Kendall says that it can be a great benefit to those who do. With My News 26, I'm Kayla Kiley.